Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Soldier Hug. It's been a busy week, and while I haven't gotten any more recording done, I have gotten a little bit of new stuff done in the world, which you can see here. Today is July 25th, 2021. This is Soldier Hug. Oh, I've gotten a fair amount done, and I've dug so much that it's time to make a trip to get rid of some extra stone. You can see I've uh, picked up quite a bit of stone. <coughs> so we're just going to hop on this train and change it to line 12. We're going to go ahead and give it a routing code of CL1. That'll make sure that it goes through the Camel Lodge. So, let's get started. Something went wrong there. Let's see. Yes, something definitely went wrong there. like I have to actually make a route for this because I was thinking that I was going to be going down into the mine first <coughs> and I'm not. I'm actually going to be going to uh, the station the Camel Lodge and beyond. should happen is that it'll stop at this station real quick and then it'll continue on to the Camel Lodge. all of this works correctly, we'll be able to see quite a bit of what, uh, <clears throat> what I've done here. Not recently, these are old uh, progresses. I built this a while back. Oops, that was a little glitch. 
So I don't feel like I did a very good job last time of explaining CPR and the upward spiral. <clears throat> what really happens is that we get CPR or continuously progressive revelation from God. And what that means is that God tells us, reveals to us a little bit of his will as we're able, uh, whenever we are able to put more of it into practice. So, for example, if we are trying to follow God's will in regards to what we eat, we may learn first that uh, we shouldn't eat pig. Pork is not kosher. And as we make that change in our diet, we may start to learn other things about kashrut. For example, shellfish and beetles. And we may be uh, guided, directed to information that teaches us about hidden dangers like some of the uh, common colorings that come from sources that are not kosher. I'm trying to figure out why this is not working properly. And so as we put into practice the things that God has taught us, we begin to learn more things in a progressive way. So as we put into practice each thing that the Lord shows us, he shows us something else so that our obedience causes us to increase in understanding and our understanding causes us to increase in obedience. <coughs> This leads to an upward spiral as we go through routines and come round to choices again and again and make the same good choices and better good choices, our behavior improves and so we go up and up as we go around and around as we come to 
similar decisions again and again. Conversely, if we are not trying to be obedient, we come to decisions again and again, and we end up in a downward spiral, like a boat falling into a whirlpool. We come to a decision and we make a poor choice, or we make a disobedient choice rather, and it's easier the next time to make the bad choice and harder to make the good choice. But the opposite is also true. As we are obedient, it becomes easier to make obedient choices and it becomes less tempting to make bad choices and do disobedient and rebellious things. So following God's will and following what we have been what has been revealed to us and what we understand leads us to making better choices and making good choices easier and being rebellious and disobedient tends to cause us to slip faster and faster away from obedience and further into sin. So we know that God wants what's best for us, so we should be trying all the time, we should always be striving to move upward into greater, greater obedience and not downward into greater sin. So that's what CPR is and the upward spiral. Why does this matter? Well, it matters because the more we are disobedient and the more we fall into sin, the deeper the sins that we can fall into. Uh, if we are trying to be obedient, we are not likely to fall into heinous acts because we, our choices and our tendencies don't bring us close to those acts. So being obedient protects us from sin and from regret while being disobedient leads to greater and greater problems and greater and greater potential for more and more vile acts. They have, experts have talked to serial killers who have been caught and one of the common threads that they find with a lot of them is that they started out with things that our society considers to be fairly benign, but which lead to desensitization of uh, a person's understanding of humanity and a greater objectification of others. Very frequently, serial killers started out with uh, getting involved in pornography. And then the excitement that they got from the pornography became less and less effective, and they had to engage in uh, darker and more uh, intense fantasies and fantasizing and in order to get the same excitement and eventually they ended up becoming abusive 
and dangerous to other people. So we've arrived here at the Seaside Synagogue. This station uh, is uh, one of our uh, one of our uh, central stations. It uh, will eventually have a number of lines coming through it. And apparently I did not make this line long enough for the boxcar to come over the unloader. So I'm going to try to fix that right now. Hold all of this stone. <clears throat> but we'll see. Yep, I ran out of space to hold the stone. There's our station. Now I'll remove the old station so that the boxcar will continue and go across the unloader. See there, it's empty. So I'm going to drop off as many as I can here. And actually, we're going to run up here and put some things in the the lockers in the station. So that, uh, because that's where I'll be putting the ones that I just put in that uh, chest down there at Pulsa. bit of locker space here in the train station.
this is platform one local line 8 will come in there express line 11 will come into platform 2 platform 3 has not yet been built but there is a rail line there for platform 3 and let's see we're also going to have this be for line 12 if I change my mind about going to The, uh, the unloading station, the unloading track. So there we are. We're bit of stone that I still need to get rid of. Might as well kick, take some of this over. What I'll be using this for is the rail bridge that extends off in that direction. Which you would be able to see if I had traveled over in that area recently. But even though I turned on unlimited viewing range, it isn't showing it. So we'll see that later. train is uh, ready to return. Set this so that it automatically goes on. <clears throat> and we'll be heading back toward the origin station. Okay, I got a phone call, so I have to had to break the video. So where was I? Oh yes, you might think that it's highly unlikely that the things you're doing will lead to becoming a serial killer. <clears throat> But 
good people have fallen into some very dark places. because of some of the things that come from this downward spiral and this tendency toward greater sin and a really a, a diminishing of our understanding of morality. Good people in several nations have fallen into terrible abuse of other people because of a lack of sensitivity to the value of human life. And the way that this happens frequently is that someone will decide that a certain group of people is not valuable. Whether it is a group of people within the, within the country or a group of people without, like our um, our enemies if we're at war. Now, our enemies may be rotten people, but they're still people. And because of that, we need to be very, very careful that we don't fall into the trap of allowing ourselves to be manipulated into thinking that our enemies are somehow less than human. Because honestly, that way that way lies atrocities. So I think I'm going to stop there, and we can talk about atrocities next time. And I'll try to continue this tunnel deeper into the underground of Soldier Hug. I hope you've enjoyed this visit to my mind test world and I hope that you have enjoyed hearing my thoughts on the upward spiral the danger of being uh, rebellious and the The danger of dehumanizing our enemies.
That's it for this time. I'll see you on the next one.